Tigers have shut out the Alabama Crimson Tide by the score of 10 to nothing here at Legion Field in Birmingham. The clock running down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It is over, ladies and gentlemen. Hail to the champions of the Southeastern Conference. The Auburn Tigers have defeated the Alabama Crimson Tide. 10 to nothing here at Legion Field. War Eagle. Auburn's 1987 SEC Championship team held a reunion weekend. It was a time to reflect on old times and catch up with old friends. It's really special to come back and see you guys that, you know, to joke around and, and tell lies that some are true and, you know, they, my wife and our, my kids get tired of the same old stories. They hear them the same, but they, they hear them all the time, but they're still just as funny as we told them or happened years ago. Even though I haven't seen a lot of them in years, um, we still have that bond and, and we know what we went through together and we know those peaks and those valleys and, and those good times and hard times. It was a, it was a great time, you know, you know, to be an Auburn Tiger and I'm just so appreciative of, of the relationships and the friendships and the bonds that we, we were able to establish. A lot of guys from different areas, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, but we, despite our background, we all knew the value of hard work, which Coach Dye and Coach Witt, Coach Hall, Coach Calloway, they all had implemented in us. I'm just thrilled to be able to look back on some success here at Auburn and, and uh, with Coach Dye, and we're just happy to be a part of it. Auburn swept Amen Corner beating Florida, Georgia, and ending with a 10 to nothing shutout of Alabama. Every year we won those three games, we won the conference championship. And uh, what better way to finish the season than playing Georgia, Florida, and Alabama? Who wouldn't remember the Iron Bowl? Uh, you know, it, it, you're, not, you're not Auburn if you don't remember what happened in the Iron Bowl. And, you know, anytime you can shut out a, a quality uh, Alabama team or your arch rival, it, it's huge for your career and for the, your school. And, uh, you know, we, we um, as a whole, our team really just played real lights out. You know, we, we made them, forced Alabama to do some things they weren't accustomed to doing. That goose egg, that zero was uh, awesome. That played against them in 86, had a big win there. 87, coming back and shutting them out, that was just outstanding. I mean, anytime you can set out a team like Alabama, your, uh, your biggest rivalry, uh, it means a lot to the program, and it means a lot going forward that next year in recruiting as well. So. We always understood the impact and the dynamics of the Auburn-Alabama rivalry. Come to Auburn, you know, it's ingrained in you from, you know, day one, you know, you know the Iron Bowl, you know, and beating Bama and all that. And, you know, for us to be able to go out and, and win that game like that, you know, it's, it's just an awesome experience. Beating Alabama just, it's, it's always going to be phenomenal. It ain't got to be with the SEC. It's just a the in town rival, just the 365 days being a man and talking about it, you know. But uh, with that year beating Alabama, it was, it's always great. I can't just particular, I can't particularly pick out one incident, but just beating Alabama is always great. Auburn guys lining up and beating Alabama is the most important thing in our life if we're right here. I'm 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 so happy for you to win it outright. And, and well, we only got one champion in, in the conference. You are the champion of the best football conference in America. The 1987 team started a streak of three consecutive SEC titles for the Tigers. It was a lot of fun to coach the guys that we got to coach as a staff and recruit and bring into this great place. When the game was on the line, all three of the quarterbacks had won championships, Randy Campbell and Jeff and Reggie. When, they, when it was fourth down and no more plays, they were at their best. And, that, and that's what you got to have in a quarterback. It was from the guys that played before us. I think that you build on the foundation that was laid before you. Uh, and, and that starts with Coach Pat Dye. Coach Dye always stressed if you keep it close in the fourth quarter, we will win the ball game. I realized how hard we worked. I realized how good we were. 
I mean, we really were. We were a, a good football team. And my wife and I, Esther, which is, uh, we've been married 25 years and um, means the world to me. And and, uh, and I told her, you know, this time when I was here at Auburn, it, it really, it meant a lot. It meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to my family. And I think about all the great times and we had, you know, we had, we had peaks and we had valleys and we had, you know, we had both. But the relationships that came out of, of, of that time uh, is invaluable.